Let's build our first pipeline with code pipeline. In this video, we're going to build a simple pipeline with two stages. The first stage, as required by code pipeline, will contain a source action that pulls in code from that code commit repository we created. Then that action will output the source code as an output artifact. The next stage will just have one build type action that uses code build to install our application dependencies and build the client code with Webpack. The demo project for this course is the new web experience for Hamster Ball Fantasy League that Emma and her team are developing. All of the basic functionality is already completed and only the pipeline needs to be built out. Go to the code pipeline dashboard in your browser. Then click on the create pipeline button. First we'll name the pipeline. Enter HBFL here. AWS will pre-populate a name for a new service role to be created specifically for this pipeline. It'll also attach all the necessary policies for the role. If you had an existing role you wanted to use, this is where you'd attach it. But we're just going to use the AWS created one in this demo. Now if you expand the advanced settings section, you'll see you can define a custom S3 bucket for the artifact store or change the encryption key used for those artifacts. The defaults here are fine for us, so go ahead and click Next. Now we need to add a source stage. This is a requirement for all pipelines, which is why you can't skip it. In the dropdown, you can see the available providers. This list has actually grown in the past couple of years as AWS releases new services and adds functionality for third-party providers. Select AWS Code Commit. Now you'll have some new prompts. Click into the repository name prompt and it will open an autocomplete dropdown. If you only have a few repos and code commit, then you should see HBFL here without having to type it in. Select HBFL. Now we need to select which branch in the HBFL repo that this source action will actually pull from. Click into the input box and select master. Now there are two detection options here for detecting changes, using CloudWatch events or polling for changes. Polling was previously the only available option for initiating a code pipeline execution, but now CloudWatch events are the default and recommended method. Leave this selected and click next. Now we have the option to set up a build stage in action. Click in the drop down and you'll see the available build providers. Select AWS Code Build. The region will default to whatever region you're currently in, which is fine. Now we have to designate a code build project to run here, but we haven't actually built one yet. So we can use this Create Project button to build that, so click it. This will open a new window to create this new project. Let's name it HBFL-Build. No need for a description. And then next we'll define the environment that we need for our code build project to run on. We're going to use a managed image and we'll just use a regular version of AWS Linux. In the operating system dropdown, select Amazon Linux 2. In the runtime dropdown, select standard. And then in the image dropdown, select the option using the x86 architecture that ends in 2.0. The rest of these options are fine as is. Now, CodeBuild uses build commands to know what to do. It, it runs them. I've already created a build spec YAML file, which is in the HBFL source code. And we can use that to actually build our project. So leave the box that says, use a build spec file selected. Buildspec.yaml is the default name, so we don't actually need to define a special name for it here. The default CloudWatch logs is fine for us. And now that we've defined the environment and what needs to run for the job, go ahead and click the Continue to Code Pipeline button. After some time, the pop-up will close and the job we just created will be populated in our build action. Now we can click Next to continue. Here's where we could add a deploy stage, but we're just going to skip this for now and add one in a later video in this module. So click the Skip Deploy Stage button, and then Skip. Finally, 
Here are all the details of the pipeline we configured. If everything looks good, go ahead and click Create Pipeline. And now your pipeline is complete and it'll kick off its first execution. You can watch it in real time as the UI will update as the execution proceeds. And when it's completed, it will have pulled your code from the code commit repository and then built it on code build in that build action.